Hello, I'm Debbie Bell Hosking for Finextra TV and I'm joined by Barb Morgan of Temenos. We're going to be looking at predictions for 2025, innovation and banking and that all important customer experience. So Barb, lovely to have you here in our studio. Yes, thank you for having me. I'm super excited to be here. Well, I'm excited because I love this look ahead. Yes. And particularly from the position you're in at Temenos, can I ask you what, for you, are the technology trends that stand out? What's going to be making an impact in 2025? And also, if we can roll a little bit further about the emerging trends we can look out for as well. Absolutely. So I think more so than ever, are, you know, when I sit down and I talk with the CEOs or the CTOs, and they're, they're really focused on their customers. And so a lot of the technology trends are actually how it can enable them to be focused on their customers. So we see four that are really, um, you know, they, they've all played a part over the previous years, but, but we're seeing this trend where, you know, these four are, are continuing to be the com topic of conversations. And, and so the first is around cloud and giving clients that flexibility, that scalability, but most importantly, the speed. So things like faster payments, real-time payments, you know, the expectations of the clients are just changing so rapidly. And so that, that cloud gives them that ability to, to really deliver on their promises. Um, next, we, we see a lot of uh, trends, you know, a lot of clients wanting to go to SaaS. And the reason behind that is they're saying, we want to spend our time on our customers and our growth with our customers, not on the infrastructure. So Temenos, can you come in and help us there? Also, the, the added benefit for them there is the innovation. So being able to upgrade every year or sometimes twice a year, you know, take advantage of the innovations that are happening versus previously, it might be every 10 years, 15 years before they're replacing their core banking. So being able to do that every year, take advantage of the innovation that's happening in the market um, is super exciting for our customers. Third is around modularity. So there's a lot of talk right now around, you know, the legacy systems that many of the banks have in place and the risk around you know, core banking modernization, especially you know, a lot of our clients, they were built out of acquisitions. So it's multiple systems in the back end that have never been put together. And so what they're asking us for is that flexibility. And last, we, we couldn't have a conversation without AI, right? Um, you know, AI, I, I've had so many conversations where it's just not a buzzword anymore. You know, before you could say, yep, we're doing AI, check the box. Because AI, you know, it's been around for many years, right? 10 years, 15 years, you know, everything from starting with chatbots and agents that, that would answer, you know, uh, automated questions and things like that. But now, you know, the companies are really shifting their mindset to think more about how can this really help our customers versus how does it help me save money in my operations? How would you say banks are going to be using AI in 2025? Yeah, so let's start with Gen AI. Um, the big shift that we're seeing, and, and part of it is, you know, as Temenos comes in and we sit down with our clients, a lot of it is bringing both our banking expertise, but our technology expertise. Sometimes with us, sometimes it's through partners. So we may bring Microsoft to the table with us or NVIDIA to the table with us or, you know, some of our, our key partners. And really having those conversations to say, what are you wanting your customers to feel? And that's a very different question than they've, they've heard before. And so with Gen AI, it's, it's really an AI plus a human and giving them kind of that side-by-side -side agent that can instantly give them the answers they need. And it's driving a real hyper-personalization for their customers. So imagine before you call into the bank, they say, yes, please, can you hold? And they go and they look up a bunch of information. Then they get back on, they ask a few more questions. Maybe it takes you a little bit further into what you're really trying to solve. Okay, now can you please hold again? With the, and, and we've been working on a banking co-pilot, both with our customers and also, you know, with our hyperscaler partners, it's, they can ask those questions, get the answers immediately. They don't have to put their customers on hold. They can actually predict, maybe make them offers of, hey, as I've looked at your account, we've closed this out, but I actually see that we could combine two of your loans and offer you a better rate. And just giving them that, that more human feel and human experience by leveraging AI as almost, you know, their, their side by side agent um, with them. You know, agentic AI, um, so the, the difference there is it, it actually acts autonomously. And so it's doing repetitive tasks and learning from it. So something like that can be customer segmentation. 
It can learn over time how the customer segmentation um, should be divided. It can then send that on to the appropriate areas to maybe reach out and offer a loan package or offer different products and segments. And then those agents can actually talk to each other. So when I talked about Gen AI being an agent with a human, the Agentic AI is actually an agent with an agent um, AI that, that can then be fed in to provide the best customer experience. So it's it's really rapidly evolving. I think the, the exciting thing is, is seeing banks turn that corner to say, okay, this actually is, is not operational. I think for so many years, we, we really thought about um, AI being operational. I think the, the third facet is, how do they think about keeping their customers safe? Mm -hmm. So responsible AI is so important, ensuring that there's no gender biases, things like that is something that we work on continually with, with our customers. Um, but also the rate and speed that AI can analyze data is accelerating fraud detection. It can, you know, detect bad actors instantly. And then the customers have a choice of how they want to, you know, de like work with their customer on that. So do they want to send them a text message? Do they want to actually pick up the phone and call depending on the type of account? But they have that choice and that optionality. And, and so, you know, seeing them light up a bit of this actually brings more of a human touch than, you know, more of a computer touch. Uh, one of the things that, that I talk, you know, to our C-level about quite a bit is, it's not artificial intelligence, it's augmented intelligence. So it really does need that human side by side with it. And it's not a matter of replacing humans, it's more about how do we make them more efficient and, and bring forward that customer experience. And as we come to a close, um, you mentioned Agentic AI. Do you see banks using Agentic AI in the future and finding that trust, both for themselves and for the customer experience? I do, I think that, you know, whether it's d depending on where in the globe, what regulations, what compliance comes out, I think that's going to drive where they can use Agentic AI. But I think there's definitely a place for it. Those repetitive tasks, getting smarter, you know, learning as it goes. Um, you know, there there absolutely is a place, even if it's just within spaces like fraud detection on the back end, or so not decisioning on the actual accounts, but but alerting and alerting at speed. And uh, so, you know, I think it'll play us a place, you know, in our future. I think the Reagan compliance space may help drive some of that and, and you know, where banks are comfortable, but I absolutely see it, you know, playing a, playing a part in the future. We'll have to get you back, Bob, maybe yes. at the end of yes. 2025 yes. and see where we're at. But thank you so much for joining absolutely. us here. Thank you so much.